Hey guys, welcome to Four Kids in the Farm. My name's Aaron. I'm AJ. If you're new to the channel, we live on a five acre farm in Northern California. And as you can see, our pasture's starting to get a little bit brown. We haven't got a lot of rain. Um, and so we want to utilize it like this for our sheep. We do have painted desert sheep, which are a hair sheep, uh, which means that they they don't hold on to their wool. They get rid of that when it gets hot. And one of the reasons we have them is for meat. The other reason we have them is for mowing. So we have five acres of pasture that we're happy to have them eat for us. And so we want to move them over here while this grass is still a little bit green. So what they what they do eat, they use, and what they don't eat kind of gets trampled down. If you follow Greg Judy at all, um, it's just a regenerative practice. We want their poop and the organic matter to build up where they eat the grass. And I'm almost hitting my son. Um, so we do use Premier One fencing. Uh, it's an electric fencing. Uh, we'll put the link below. It's a goat and sheep fencing. Uh, that has worked really really well for us. We're going to set that up. If you've been part of the channel you know that moving sheep is not my favorite thing. We think that just a little preparedness here is going to help us out a whole lot. So we're going to set up the fencing and then we're going to bucket lead them out into the area that we provide for them. So we think it will work really well. Cross your fingers, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we're going to get going. We're gonna kinda of jimmy rig uh, the chicken fencing a little bit so it makes that lane for the sheep. Um, and before we put that she the sheep in the lane, we're also gonna make like a little paddock with these other electric fences. Um, we'll make sure they have shade because it's starting to get hot and we will release the sheep. With the Premier One fencing, this is, these are poundable poles. Um, but you have to use a special hammer. This is the one that Premier One uh, recommends it's from Premier One Supplies. It's called a dead blow hammer, um, and it allows us in our Northern California climate, when it starts to get dry like this, uh, to pound these stakes in. Because our ground gets really, really hard. There's not a lot of organic matter. There's not a lot of topsoil, and so that's what we're working on is increasing those things. If you try to do this by hand, that spike isn't going anywhere, right, AJ? Yep. The one problem is, is these can get really, really hard to remove if you get it too far in there. Right, AJ? Right. <laughs> it's like the sword and the stone. Oh, and got it. One day we would like to irrigate our whole pasture, but we're not at that point yet. So I'm going to take one of these strings hey, hey, hey. and we're going to wrap the electric fencing over to that pallet so that it doesn't give the sheep an out. So by the way, this fence is not on. So I'm just going to tie this real good. So that they're, when they come out of this fence right here, so they don't think that they can go this way. Um, I want, we're gonna make this as stress-free as we can because that's what's best for me and that's what's best for AJ and the sheep. So we're gonna go set up these other fences. We'll make a perimeter as big as they go and then we're gonna move them to fresh grass. Okay, we got one more length of fence to go. We're gonna make it go as far as we can. Um, and we do have, these fences are hooked up to the IntelliShock 30, which I believe can handle up to four fences, which we have on it. If we have to, if it's not shocking enough, we have the IntelliShock 60 that we can grab. Um, easy switch out, not a big deal. So 
The bundle guy needs my help. When I have these two, I kind of wrap them in a separate direction. And then connect them like that. that I mean, I, I have all these strings that I could tie them with, but that seems like a pretty secure way. So I don't know if this is a tip or if this is a mistake. If you know, <laughs> you better tell me before I keep making this mistake. So we're just gonna keep going around as far as we can until we have a physical fence. And then we're gonna lead them over here and let them feast. You cannot have the electric fence touching metal. It will ground it out and the electric fence won't shock at all. It's not on right now, but I'm just saying. Um, so I'm gonna use these little uh, nylon cords to kind of wrap it, to give it just a little bit support, but not enough to actually have it leaning up against where like the wire, where the electrical wire will be touching any metal. So. If you set up all this electric fence and it's not shocking, it's probably grounding out somewhere. So the really good thing about the sheep is they're pretty obedient to the fencing. Like they, they don't need a lot of coaching when it comes to the electric fence. Um, you know, for this, for right here especially, this is for, <clears throat> our neighbor has a little yippy dog that likes to come over here. So, you know, this fence will keep that dog from bugging our sheep. Uh, any other predators, we don't have a lot of, uh, like, predator pressure here. Luckily, fingers crossed, knock on wood. Uh, so, now that this fence is set up, we're gonna bucket lead these sheep over, and hopefully it'll all work out. And I think it will. I think this is a good, recipe for success. So I'll go get the bucket with some treats in it and we'll see if it works. We may not have to get a bucket at all. We'll just open this fence and they should come right in here. So we'll try that first actually. Come on, come on. Hey, come on. Uh, Elsa, come here. Come on. Come on, Elsa. Uh, come on, come on. Hey, uh, Ricky, can you go get me the bucket of treats? We, we got all of them but two. Come on, come on now. So we've got some, just some pellets in here. Elsa. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Noel, come on. Come on, come on. How many bad words did Dad say, AJ? None. <laughs> Big zero. Big zero. Yeah. Oh. Well, cool. So we'll let them eat on that for the next couple days, and we'll just move them again. And what this does is it, like I said, they trample it. They put in the fertilizer in it. Wait. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at pantaloons right now. <laughs> He's stuck in the fencing. <laughs> Knucklehead. Good thing the fencing isn't on right now. Our next project is getting that ram. That's Cool Whip. We need to band him uh, so we don't get some surprise babies this year. So. He's our next project. That might take a little bit of wrangling, so stay tuned for that.